Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be looking at another fallacy of relevance. This one's going to be called the Appeal to Pity. And like all fallacies of relevance, the Appeal to Pity is trying to distract you from the main point of the argument, in this case by making you feel sorry for the person who's arguing. Now, an Appeal to Pity is also known as Argumentum ad Misericordium, and it's using feelings of sympathy or pity to make someone accept your position. Let's take a look at some examples. So, you should find me not guilty. If I go to jail, my children will starve. Therefore, you should find me not guilty. This argument isn't telling us anything about the person's guilt. It's just telling us that some bad things will happen if the person ends up going to jail. However, if our job is to find the truth of whether or not they are guilty, such facts have no bearing on the case. You should hire me. If I don't, I may get kicked out of my house and become homeless. Therefore, you should hire me. This is not telling us anything about the person's qualifications for the job. In fact, if anything, it's probably telling us that they are so unorganized or in such trouble that they're about to get kicked out of their house. So if anything, we shouldn't hire them. And you should convert to Judaism. If you don't, your mother will be sad. Therefore, you should convert to Judaism. Someone else's feelings don't bear on truth of an argument. So it's not something that is going to be valid. It's going to commit the fallacy of the appeal to pity. That was the appeal to pity. Also, today we're doing material implication. Yesterday we did appeal to force and transposition. Tomorrow we're going to be doing appeal to the people and material equivalence. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at carnadies.org. And stay skeptical, everybody.